I'd like to say a little bit about the chin rest here. This is an excellent foundation behavior before you actually start working with the muzzle itself. So this is something I would strongly recommend you work on and um, have a solid one because it'll just make everything else easier that comes after. So the chin rest means I put out my hand or both my hands, we can have a single or a double, put out one or, or both, and my dog holds the muzzle there. So, good, like that. Okay. Or I put out two. Good. Eventually, as I work through the steps, I wanna be able to put out a double chin rest and move my thumbs up over the top of my dog's muzzle. Good. So all she has to do is hold her chin there, double chin rest, with a muzzle wrap. Good. Let's call it a muzzle wrap. I can also do a single chin rest with my hand lightly on top of the muzzle. Good. Conditioning her to the feel of something there, and it's basically my hands at this point. Good. Then when I go to introduce, a muzzle itself, I pretty much hold it in exactly the same way as a double chin rest. So the muzzle's here, she's very, very used to a double chin rest. Good. You can see how quickly and smoothly it goes, it flows from the, the chin rest to the chin rest in a muzzle. Good. So strongly recommend you do a lot of work on your chin rest separately. Make that strong, make your muzzle work go really, really fast.